DJ must go. Kano, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Go ahead. I got doing, I'm Ken Kano from the South Side of Houston. I'm an independent artist and CEO of this world. That's an uh, independent record like we in Houston. You know what I'm saying? Wanna come up? I got my boy Big Slum out here with me. What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah, pass the fruit. Pass the fruit. What's up? Okay. <laughs> okay. So yeah, you said your uh, guest is named Slow Mo. He in yeah, the building. Big he, slow -mo. He's sipping. So first, yeah. I want to do a toast, toast to my new show. New show. Power new money. Afro Vibes Radio. Oh, Cash and Fruit. Afro yeah. Vibes in this bitch is going yeah. down. Cheers. Clink, clink, clink. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, we got a. Yeah, you sure right. <laughs> you got your pinky up. Yeah, ain't oh, nobody pinky. put their pinky up. <laughs> when in doubt, pinky out. You feel me? I'm about to say it back. I'm new money. Ah, okay. So let's Ooh. get right into it. Oh, yes. First sip, baby. Okay. No, you like that, right? All right, but well, you like that. That's good, right? Sip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Kano, Kano. Yes, man. The real Kano. Tell yes, me where you from. I'm from uh, Southside of Houston, Sunnyside. Kenny. Scott, you know what I'm saying? Belfin Scott. Um, I'm originally I was actually born in Galveston, Texas. You know oh, yeah. Galveston. Yeah, you know, I'm an <laughs> island boy. Let me not. In my house. But uh, I moved to Houston when I was like four. You know what I'm saying? My mom got a job downtown. You know what I'm saying? She wasn't trying to drive all the way from Galveston to downtown every day, so you know, moving to the southeast side of Houston. You know what I'm saying? And I, I grew up over there for a little minute. You know what I'm saying? Did what I had to do, and then end up moving. Okay. I moved around a lot though, but you know what I'm saying? I got my snow to Okay. So, so. Is music is like, has that always been in your blood? Like, <clears throat> I want to know where you started. Like, okay, where is the beginning of your career? Where did you start? Like, okay. what made you want to do this? I mean, my pops used to rap me before he got locked up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh, he kind of was like, you know what I'm saying? My pops was like my superstar as a kid. My mama hated that. But, like, that was my superstar. Like, you know what I'm saying? He was the hardest. I just seen a lot of people out and I was like, man, this man gonna be strong, you feel me? Like, I hope he don't never hit me that hard, but uh but anyway, like my pops used to always freestyling, you know, he ran from time to time when he got locked up, you know, that slowed a lot of people down. Right. So when he came back he was a boy, but you know, he was always about like, getting money. Right. And uh I don't know, just like it kinda came up on me, you know what I'm saying, around the time like for real when Soldier Boy was making a lot of music. <laughs> Soldier Boy? Yeah, Soldier B Draco. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Nah, but uh, yeah, I made like, you know, one of them little dance songs. I think I was in like seventh grade, me and my little brother did something. But it never got recorded, you feel me? So yeah. that was kind of just like a dream. Like, man, we're going to record a song one day. So then when I was in like ninth grade, I think I met up with this dude. He was in like 11th grade. His name was JJ Downs. And uh, shout out JJ Downs, you know what I'm saying? Appear from Nice Jury. Nice Jury, go holler at my boy. Okay. But uh, yeah, my. Hit us up. <laughs> my boy, uh,. My boy Jordan, he had a studio at his crib and whatnot. It was like a little USB mic. Now, actually, at first it was a Guitar Hero mic. We bought the USB mic like during Christmas. We, we used to do a whole bunch of changes. I'm talking about. Like, it was only $100 for this box. We used to do like, every penny we could, cutting yards, washing cars, you know what I'm saying? And we ended up uh, we ended up getting that mic and we was just like recording like every day. Just little, little half songs, unfinished, you know what I'm saying? We just we used to do that all the time. You know? I want to say I was in like 10th or 11th grade, and uh, I got approached by this dude who was recording at Baron Studios. He was like, hey, I want you to go feature with me. I paid for the studio time. I didn't know what to expect at first. When I got there, I was like, damn, it's like once a month in that studio or something. Right. As a kid, but you know what I'm saying? I was on my own, like my own path, and I ended up like doing music with them. That kind of like, they kind of slowed me down too, but 
So it's, when did you feel like you really like, damn, I really could do this? Like, it was. Cause your sound, I can't even compare you to anybody. Like you yeah. have a distinct sound. It's like sound so, I love it. And, and before I even got you on here, before I even had a show, I was listening to your music. That's yes, what made me like, you know, I reach really out to you. It. Yes, like I've always seen your potential. That's why I'm like, okay, I know talent. Let me bring him on. You know. Yes, ma'am. So what's up? So what what made you decide like, okay, I, I really feel like I can do this. Uh, I think it was like in the 2014 and. Uh, I was like, I think I'm gonna take it serious. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, I, uh, I like in, in the beginning of 2014, I met this uh, this female rapper by the name of Samaya Shine or OG Shine. You ever heard of her? Yeah, OG Shine. And she invited me out to, uh, you know, Bob Breezy is. You heard of Bob Breezy? Uh huh. Oh yeah, she like a promoter out here, whatever, and a manager. And she introduced me to her, and uh, I ended up like just putting up to a show just to check it out, and it ended up being. I want to say it was like the Playboy Cardi and Maxo Cream show right before Maxo went to jail or whatever. And I was like, damn, bro, like, this shit, like, it was like packed out. Like, I ain't been to the venue before, but I had never seen this packed out before. And I was like, you know, I'm just take it serious. You know, I'm gonna really push for what I'm passionate about. You know what I'm saying? I'm really push for what I really want to be in life. And, uh, yeah, it was like 2014. I'm standing on my own road. I'm really trying to get some money, working jobs, and I was like, Put forth the effort, and you know what I'm saying. Take those days while I can't spend that, right. spend that 300 or that 400 dollars, but I still got the money in my pocket. It's just that more to invest, right. to like spend on. You know what I'm saying? You know, how can I say it's like um, things that don't really matter. You know what I'm saying? Like things that if I die, it's just gonna get passed down to somebody else. Right. Cause I really don't hold any value. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just like I want to leave something like behind that's like more than just like. <clears throat> materialistic, I want to right. make a vibe, you know what I'm saying, a, a, a legendary experience for everybody, you know what I'm saying, so it's just like, I was like, I'm going to just take this serious, and if it don't work, it don't work, but if it do work, then we on forever, we don't always have money in my family, we always have power and success in my family, no matter what we do, so because of this one leap of faith I took for myself. So what made you want to go independent? Talk to me yet. Like, right. I'm talking numbers, I might not be independent, but oh, it gotta right, be the right, right deal though. Like it gotta really be like something that's lucrative for my whole team, my whole family. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It can't be just something that like it's for the moment or this might put me somewhere else because you know I might end up being left behind if I would have just kept doing it on my own with my own money. I could pay myself back later. If I'd rather really owe myself than owe ten of the men, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So do you ever freestyle? Do I ever freestyle? I don't write my music. Are you always freestyle? Yeah, I'm right. So what's up? I Let's hear something. Me. You want me no beat? Y'all ain't gonna give me a beat. What's up? You got a beat, DJ? Yeah. DJ yeah. must go in the cut. Yeah. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm sorry, y'all. This was really like not planned. I, I just decided yes. to ask. So, <laughs> so it's planned it, so I just got to find a beat. All right, that's fine. Um, we'll keep talking, and then you you yeah, do that. Just, like. Yeah, I was just like, let me decide to ask because I mean, yeah, hey, I, I seen that, yeah, I seen that you had that cookies for So I'm like, let me ask, let me see, yeah. bring some excitement to our, you know, people that's listening. Yeah, it's good. Definitely, definitely. So like, where do you get your inspiration from? Like, who do you lean towards <clears throat> when you're like, like basically, you know, what? Who do you like basically? <clears throat> the wall. What? I lean towards the wall for inspiration. Like when I'm down and out, <laughs> and I'm like. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I get what you're saying. That was clever. I, I stared at the wall and I could see my future. You feel me? Like, not on no like weird, like I really could see the future, but I stared at the wall and really like go into my thoughts about like, you know what I'm saying? Because your thoughts manifest everything. So I go into right. my thoughts about how I want everything to be. You know what I'm saying? It might take a little time. That's cool, but when it get there, it's going to be beautiful. Just the way I picture it. I always see you post on your Instagram like inspirational things like you post like a big house or something and like you saying that it, you have to manifest you have to see it like yeah, and I, I feel it, the man. same way I feel like you gotta see it before it happens that way it manifests it's what, that way you know what you're striving towards yes, you always been I, I know what I said you always been like a positive person I've never really seen any negative things on your you know nah, I try to stay away from the negativity you know what I'm saying it always pull towards me but I feel like you know what I'm saying giving negativity that exposure, you know what I'm saying, looking at the negativity behind, you know what I'm saying, show everybody what, what, what can be, you know what I'm saying, you put the negative past behind you and try to like 
push forward for something better. You have a good voice. Thank you you. <laughs> have a really like good like voice, radio wise, and you sound really good. Like thank in these you, headphones, I'm like, okay, okay. Hope I sound good in everybody. <laughs> you do, you do. I love his music, y'all. Like we're gonna preview it in a second, but uh, you got the D, you got the B DJ. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, live on the fashion for the show. Hey, 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 hey. Look, look. Okay, push for success and don't let them tell you nothing about yourself. I came to get the wealth and fuck the stuff. I came loud and proud for all my people. Tell them chill the noise of things. Talk about the people that want to make me. Keep it cool and I ain't worried about the soul The way I move, I move, build and make it rock and roll I keep it cooler than the mother niggas Cooler than the mother niggas Smoking hella weed and I be chilling with the mother bitches How my dogs down the ride so we do not cry Yeah, it's the way that we ride down We ride the niggas fly yeah. To the sky with the lords and all the angels We ain't worried about them We should have never tried my anger We should have never tried my pride We should have never tried my people uh. The way that I be moving, I might act just like the reaper uh. Boom, knock them down and knock them right about the meat Yo. I ain't worried about the homie, I'm just doing it for my people Yeah, 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 the Passion Fruit Show That was the real Kano in this building Did y'all hear that? That was lit. That was lit. That was, that was, lit. Yes, that was ma'am. dope. Yes, ma'am. yes, I'm so really glad I actually. Yes. That I need that oh, you need that. that? You need, I need that? that workout. So that's your stimulation. Yeah, that's like you know, music is just like what feeling sound like. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like you can turn on a song right now. You might be going through a breakup. You turn on a song that had nothing to do with a breakup, but it make you feel better than that breakup make you feel. Better. Right. And that's why you turn it on, and you will have something that make you think about the breakup. But it just, you know what I'm saying, helps you cope with the pain. That's what music is. You know? I feel like you're more than a rapper. Nah, I, I feel don't. like you can take, you can take it and like run with it. Like you got other things that you can dip in down there. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm very I'm jack of all trades, but I'm good at two or three things. For so, sure, like very good at them. That's what's up. That's what's up. Look at this guy, he didn't sit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he all <over> there. Look <laughs> yeah. at him. <laughs> it was an accident, man. Yeah, look, he laid it back like this somehow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah. He, 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 he was like, hey. in a circle, like, like he just. Yo, that's how, chilling, man. Hey, you, you know? have a passion for the show. Lean back, yeah, kick I'm your feet up. You know, man. that's the vibe we want to bring. Exactly. Yeah. Like, I don't everybody don't want to get belligerent in here, though. Daily, so we got you. We got <laughs> you. But yes, we're gonna. Thousand champagne. Yes, thousand. Thank you. Well, we wish. It's Andre, y'all. Shout out to Andre. We love you all the time. Hey. So, yes, we're going to go ahead and take a quick break. And while we're on the break, we're going to premiere your uh, song, Alive. Yeah. So, Alive by the Real Kane No. Produced by my boy Neil Beasley. Hey. Big slow mo, big man. Slow -mo. One thing I know, two things for sure. You always <laughs> in the know when you fuck with Big Slow, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. He got his own slogan for sure. <laughs> yeah, so we're back to the all new and exclusive Passion Fruit Show, powered by Apple Vibes Radio. We got the dope. I just can't even describe him. He's just so dope. Appreciate you. The Dope real Kano. Live. I just want to let you give them an opportunity to give you your Instagram. Go ahead and get okay. your Instagram. My Instagram and Twitter is at the real Kano. That's at the real K H A Y N O T H E R E A L K H A Y N O. Again, that's at the real Kano. You can follow me on any social media. Follow me on. You know what I'm saying? The ladies want to hit me up. I'm on P O L. Pimp man, slip back. Now I'm just playing. I don't play. I ain't gonna be a real. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah. what can we expect next from you? Because uh, we want to know. 2020. We got to bring you back to 2020. 
<laughs> I'm gonna drop 20 videos. 20? 20 videos. 20 videos. Why you say 20? 2020, man. Because of 2020? You know what I'm saying? 20, 20 videos. 20 for 20 in this thing. Yeah, we 20 yeah. for 20. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Nah, for sure. We're going to drop. Me and my boy going to drop 20 videos. We're going to take over the city. That's, that's what it's yeah, I need to be hearing from you. We need to be seeing you everywhere because nah, you popping. You. Like you popping. I got you. I got you. I've been on. A, I've been really trying to get my money together, so I'm gonna pop out this a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Extravagant, nicer cars, nicer jewelry, nicer clothes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you gotta remember us when you uh blow so, up. You man, know? Come on, I got so you. We had you first. You don't, period. You don't, you don't have a manager? Nah, nah, nah. I'm independent. Nah, I'm lying. I do got a manager, but he kind of he kind of trippy sometimes. <laughs> Oh, he ain't on it. He ain't nah, on he, it. I'm more on it than him, but shit. Right. But he got he got the skills. Like the reason I picked him as a manager is because he uh, he actually younger than me. You know what I'm saying? We went to school together, but he ended up moving to California. Okay. And when he moved to California, he ended up having like a pool company, like cleaning pools. And What's his name? Uh, Chase. My name's up there. Yeah, my name is up there. Yeah, Chase. my name's up there. Okay. Yeah. Right. So you just doing everything by yourself right now? Pretty much, for the most part. Now, he looks out for the most part, you know what I'm saying? He booked me for a couple shows. He made sure, you know what I'm saying, everything is how I needed when the video was going on. And he really, you know what I'm saying, to help. He take a little bit of stress off my mind, you know what I'm saying? If, if I waste something on my shirt, because I'm, I'm big at wasting shit on my shirt. Oh, I, yeah. He just did that before the interview, y'all. Yeah, so. and <laughs> if I waste something on my shirt, he'll go to the corner store just to give me another shirt. And that's really, a, you know what I'm saying, that take a lot of pressure off my shoulders. Because I'd rather just be able to get to the video, get shit done, get me right. in order. But for the most part, you know what I'm saying? And he, he helped me, you know, he helps me. He, he got me like a couple, you know what I'm saying? Money here and now, pay features. So he's pretty good, you know what I'm saying, man? Right. He not, I just, I call him bullshit because I feel like we should all be rich and he take it to me. <clears throat> you definitely should be up there, like, yes, for real. Your sound is dope. Your sound is is exclusive. You write your own raps. You freestyle. You don't have to go in the studio and, and prepare. You just could go in there, hit a beat, and you boom, you going. Like, yeah. that's. That's the type of artist that, you know, should be up there already, like. It takes time. It, it does, it does, yeah. definitely. Like but you've been grinding. How for how long now, like? Shit, I've been grinding for a minute, man. It's yes. Been, I don't even want to say the number. I'm going to just say a year. Right, right. A <laughs> year? <laughs> nah, I'm lying. I'm lying. It's been I'm way, I know it's been a hard time coming, you know. Yeah, it's been a, it's, yeah, it's been pretty hard, but, you know, a couple setbacks, but we're not really worried about it. Right. What about your uh, childhood? Like, what, how was it growing up? Cool, you know what I'm saying? My mama worked a job, you know what I'm saying? She worked in the post office. Had me, I, uh, I got an older sister and uh, two younger sisters, but my younger sister didn't come around until I was in high school. My daddy arose, so I'm doing that. So, yeah, <laughs> but now, as a, as, a, as a young kid, you know what I'm saying? It was me and my mom, you feel me, and my sister, yeah. And uh, pretty much, I didn't get my first room until I was like, damn, like in like eighth grade. Dang, yeah, I used to sleep I ain't blame my mama for that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? My, my sister a girl, she never been herself. Right. You know what I'm saying? To be a girl, how she wanna be good. So that's what gives you your drive, your ambition to yeah. go harder and so, yeah. you know. Yeah, push yeah. plus you know what I'm saying, I didn't I didn't lost everything before, you know what I'm saying? I didn't been shot three times. Are you serious? Yeah, I got shot once in my back and twice in my chest in two thousand seventeen. So Wow. You know what I'm saying? I done been through a lot, you feel me? And like some of the shit I might have put myself in, but at the same time, you feel me? Our destiny is written, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. But Everybody has their <clears> destiny, <throat> so don't stop, keep going. Because yeah. you, this is your path. You yes, got man. it, you got it. You yes, got everything, man. trust me, trust me. Yeah, appreciate that. You're welcome. So yeah. what What was the concept for uh, the Alive video? I, that video is really dope. <laughs> I love the concept, like you, with somebody captured you or something like that, yeah. and was beating you, held you hostage, all that. Like, what was the, who did that? Uh, well, my actual, my long-term friend from, like, junior high, he, uh, his name Andrew, he, like, you know how they, they, they like, you know how you got guardian angels that sit down for you, and, like, you never yeah. know until you, you know what I'm saying, he always been, like, that when I need him, you feel me, that's like my, you know what I'm saying, my, my brother from another race, you feel me, like, <laughs> his family, if I go to his house, his mom be like, me ho, huh? <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, 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 I'm hungry. I'm with this. She don't fix me a big ass plate with beans, rice. Shout out Andrew. Yes, I thought I'm best man. I'm a boy, man, for real. But uh, yeah, like before I really knew how to clean guns, he had taught me how to clean my gun. You know what I'm saying? His dad came in there like, Ooh, that's your gun." He's like, "I'm gonna give you another one." You know what I'm saying? Basically, gave me another gun. It was like, "Yeah, here to protect your life, your family." You know what I'm saying? And they like, you know what I'm saying? They really like. I don't know. They really nice Christian family. You know what I'm saying? 
That's one. That's the Hispanic dude in the video. The one that watched him walk out of the uh, Yeah, the I did see that. Yeah, he really was supposed to have a beard, but he cut his shit off, and that really pissed me off. That was the only reason. <laughs> he we had a thick beard, you feel me? I was like, yeah, you look like you, you're going to knock somebody off. Right. And then the other person was actually my older cousin, uh, Phil Hillball, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Phil Hillball. Oh, so this is all your family in the video. I would have yeah. never noticed. Like, the acting and the, just all of it was just dope. Like, yeah. the whole... Everything about it was really nice. My personal chef, aka I feed the streets, was in there too, like sitting at the table talking to my cousin before they follow me. Yeah. So yeah, that's like my that's like my sister. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But, okay. Uh, so let everybody know where they can find your music, cause I'm pretty sure the people listening want to know. Like. Yeah, you can definitely. find. Definitely. I think you were saying all my music got deleted. Out. Oh no, you said No, I'm your paying. Instagram, okay. yeah. He only has like four posts, y'all. Yeah, like four. like four posts. I'm like, this wasn't on here the last time I seen him. Like Nah, yeah. I uh, I actually He's under the construction, y'all. Yeah, I'm under, like, construction. He's under construction. You know what I'm saying? We try to pop out that form and a nice whips, you know what I'm saying, nice house before we can start posting on the again. That's good. I might post yeah. a couple things. We we really working on building an empire before we really get you know what I'm saying? Push forward and showing the whole image. Right, you got to get your behind closed doors right before yeah. you start flashing. Yeah, you know. Because once Definitely. we get all our ducks in order, we don't need to shoot. It's for real. Yes, that's what's up. That's, that's what's up. Right. So I want to preview. I want to uh, get another one of his songs going for the viewers. What you want to play? I think we should play uh, the freestyle. Yeah, the the cookie, free. the cookie flow. That's what it's called. Yeah, cookie flow yes. Cookie flow. Let's let that go. Yes. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> yes, they're not as like. I mean, I like money. <laughs> I don't. That's childish. I don't do the teddy bears and shit. Like, give me some money. So I can use that. I can use that. What if you can't say home? I'm coming down and I'm saying, I'm gonna cook it right out of your That's different. I put it down. They talk and shit, you can take them out. Say, I run the streets when I'm at the house. Say, homie, talk shit, and I punch them out. They worry about him, nigga, fuck this cloud. I can't even get money without a doubt. She been in the streets since I was a kid. You don't need no more. Because I can't be bombed. I'm only on my business. Say fuck how they feel, cause I need my bread Say I might put pistols right at his head Say I might break it just to keep it bread Say fuck it, I need it, it is what it is I cannot fuck with them niggas who lie I need to get out my money your time I need a bitch, I need me at the dime I need to fuck that little bitch from behind Say I keep it cool, don't you blame me, nigga Yes, yes, we got the real Kano in the building. Yes, the motherfucking ma building. Yes, the motherfucking it's going building. down on the passion fruit today. Yes, period. We had a special treat for y'all because that freestyle and just you being present, like, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this because, yeah, really yes. Enjoyed. So go ahead and let them know where we can find your music. Okay. You can Before find we go. all my music on SoundCloud. Not all of it, I ain't gonna lie. It's one album that I really need y'all to pay for. It's mm -hmm. called Cosmo <laughs> I put it over like it'll be worth it, y'all. It's really worth it. You know what I'm saying? It's really, really worth it. I put like countless hours into that album, countless days. You know what I'm saying? It's so much pain and like such a beautiful story behind it. You know what I'm saying? Right. If you really pay attention to everything that's going on. It's, it's not just a bunch of music that's thrown together. You say it's an album with skits, uh, all kind of like production. You know what I'm saying? I flew my producer out here. He from Chicago, I flew all the way out here, he stayed out here for about six months and we worked on the album. What's and the, um, where's, what's the name, like, where can we find it? Where can okay, the viewers find bad. it? It's, uh, no, you're fine. It's, uh, I know you like to tell your backstory. It's called Caution. With a K. Caution. Caution. By? King Kano. King Kano. Go ahead and get that, y'all. Period. Caution for by real. King Kano. Apple Music, Spotify, Deezer, uh. Everywhere. Everywhere. Get it. YouTube, right? On YouTube. Everywhere. Okay, YouTube, everything. All you gotta do is yes. type in King Kano. I'm the only person with that name. King Kano. Like yes. All right, all right. So, yes, guys, thank you all for tuning in to the Passion Fruit Show. We got King Kano in the building. Yes, and, yes, yeah, powered by Apple Vibes Radio. We guys will see you next time. King Kano, Bye. right? Yes. Bye.